Shalom everyone, Lieutenant Colonel Jonathan here. We are live on the IDF's official Facebook page. Thank you for joining. We're in southern Israel. I can't say exactly where, but we're in southern Israel. There's one of the largest cities in Israel behind me. And what you also can see behind us is another Iron Dome battery, one of many that are deployed all over Israel, defending Israeli civilians. Let me give you a few stats. We've intercepted more than a thousand rockets fired from Gaza at Israel. We're talking about more than 3,000 rockets that have been fired already. And the interception rate of this amazing system that has been saving Israeli lives by the dozen is more than 90%. I'd like you to take a moment and think what would be the consequences of us not having the Iron Dome. Think about the Israeli civilians killed. Think about the carnage and damage inside Israel if it had not been for the Iron Dome and its amazing capability to intercept. And I'm very happy with me today is a special person, Corporal Ayala, who is a combat soldier and operator of the system in the Iron Dome uh, unit, part of the Israeli Air Force. Uh, tell me, Ayala, where are you from? Uh, from New Jersey. You're from New Jersey. That's great. And uh, you did the uh, Aliyah to Israel how long ago? Uh, almost two year, years ago. Almost two years. And since then you started your military service. And by the looks of your, your kit and equipment, I'd say that you're around half a year in the military, right? Exactly. That's right. So tell me, how does it feel? And what's your job and how does it feel to be manning one of the best systems in the world? Although neither of us, neither side wants to see death and destruction on the Israeli side, on the Gaza side. Um, but it is really important what we're doing and it feels great to be part of this entire system. I know where I am. I am saving the lives of at least a million people just in my area. Right. Um, so that's really important. It's a crazy feeling to be part of it. I'm sure it must be amazing. I've never had that feeling. I've never been responsible for so many people and you're part of a very special unit, unit really strategic, saving lives, saving lives in Israel, which is the most important thing and saving lives on the other side as well, because the less the more people we save, the calmer the situation. The more people you save, the calmer the situation, and that's what we're looking for. We're not looking to escalate the situation. So, how many uh, interceptions have you been part of? How many rockets and uh, interceptors have you seen uh, fired? Uh, probably more than I should have seen in just six months. Um, but we've been changing rockets, changing canisters a lot, um, and we feel good about what we're doing. Now we've already practiced everything, and we can do it in a very <laughs> sure short amount do. of time. I'm sure you do, and I'm sure it's an amazing feeling. I'm sure that your parents back home in the U.S. are very proud. Do you get to speak with them? Do you get? Have you have you seen them even lately? Uh, last time I saw my parents was also almost a year ago, um, and I do speak to them on the daily. It's easy nowadays with iPhones. Right. Um, but I do miss them, and they are a little worried, but they also know that I'm doing something very important and support me. And I'm sure that they are extremely proud of your service. I want to thank you for your service. I want to thank everybody in your unit the brave men and women who serve who operate this amazing system because it really saves lives for the benefit of everybody so i'd like to thank you for that and really give you lots of strength so that you and your friends can continue to operate and uh, sleep well enough so that you can be sharp and focused and do everything needed so that this system can continue to protect israeli civilians it's absolutely crucial and i want to tell all of you our uh, followers on uh, on facebook and the other platforms if you want to know what's going on if you want to know the real updates from the field not necessarily what's being published in international media then there's one credible source and that is our official pages you look at uh, our facebook and twitter that's where you find the most updated information and for more detailed uh, things you can look at youtube and the other platforms we have as well i'll just give you a short recap of where we are right now we're uh, a week into fighting it started with hamas firing six rockets at jerusalem our capital and since then unfortunately hamas has fired more than 3,000 rockets at israel causing the death of 10 of nine israeli civilians and we've, and we've had one combat casualty who wasn't related specifically to that. He was hit by an anti-tank missile close to the Gaza border. And of course, our condolences go out to the, to the family. But nine Israeli civilians killed by rockets fired from Gaza. Had it not been for the interception of this amazing system, we would have been looking at totally different numbers of fatalities of people killed in Israel. And we are extremely happy that we have this system. 
follow us for more updates stay informed i wish you all the best and shalom